When it comes to entry-level loafers, two of the best options that you have are GH Bass Weijin 90s Kilty Tassel Loafers, the mouthful of a name, and Doc Martin Adrian Loafers. Why these two? Essentially, both of these companies, Doc Martin and GH Bass, have a touted history in shoemaking, and they've been doing it for many, many years. From leather shoes to boots and other types of footwear, these two have been in the game for a long, long time. In 2021, both of the companies have outsourced the majority of their manufacturing to bring that cost down compared to a $300, $400, $500 loafer. That's why these are entry level and sometimes they leave a lot to be desired. But for entry level loafers, I love both of these. And in today's video, we're gonna be comparing the GH Bass Weijin 90s Kilty Tassel Loafer to the Doc Martin Adrian Tassel Loafer. Man, both of these shoes are beautiful. Today's video is meant to be a guide to help you dive into what I would like to call grown up shoes. <laughs> My name is Drew What It Do, and let's get into the comparison video. Let me be frank. In fact, let me be very frank. When it comes to the number one thing that you need to consider when buying either one of these loafers, it has to be sizing because you have to nail the sizing down on a laceless shoe that you can't adjust the tightness or the looseness of the shoe. Typically, I'm a US size 11 in a men's shoe when I wear different shoe silhouettes, whether it be sneakers or boots or whatever. I'm usually a size 11. On the left side of the screen, you should see the Adrian Loafers. I purchased these Adrian Loafers in a UK size 10 from the website shoes.com. And I went that route because they were actually on sale for $65 as opposed to the $130 retail price that you typically get. But let's get back to sizing for a second. I know this can be confusing, but stick with me. On shoes.com, it doesn't distinguish whether you're looking at UK sizing or US sizing. And so what I initially thought I purchased was a US 10, but I purchased a UK 10. And according to Doc Martin, a UK 10 fits the same as a US 11. So typically you wanna go down in Doc Martin Adrian loafers. And if I went with a UK 10, tip, I'm not going with my, you know, I'm not going down the size if I go with the UK 10 according to Doc Martin, if that makes sense. But I find Doc Martin's sizing chart from UK to US sizing to be a little bit inconsistent with what I found online. And for me, while it says that these fit like a size 11, they fit more like a size 10 and a half in my opinion. They do feel like I've come down a size because they, they feel tight in the vamp or the forefoot. But this is something that's really crucial when it comes to Doc Martin Adrian loafers. You're gonna wanna go down a size and finding the right size in Docs, I found to be a little bit tricky. In a UK 10, my Adrian still fit slightly large compared to what I'd want them to fit and compared to the GH Bass Weijins, which we'll talk about in a second. They do feel smaller than a size 11, which I feel like would be way too big if I were to get a UK 11, obviously that'd be way too big. But I think that for those who want to buy this shoe, and I've said it before, go down a size, make sure you go down a size, and make sure you feel comfortable wearing the shoe um, because sizing is so crucial. Now, here's the funny thing. When I got my GH Bass Weijins, I actually also went with a UK size 10. And according to GH Bass, which I found to be more consistent with online sizing charts, a UK 10 fits like a US 10 and a half, which is going down half a size, which is decent. And after getting the GH Basses in hand, I can definitely say that the fit is definitely a lot better for GH Bass than they are for Adrian Loafers. The shoe is very, very narrow, and we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. And it just fits the, my footbed and my foot structure a lot better than the Adrian's. The Adrian's are just a little bit wider, and for whatever reason, my foot just moves ever so slightly more in the Adrian's than they do in the GH Bass regions. And I can say that just going down a half a size, for me at least, in the GH Bass regions was perfect. And so for you, my recommendation is either go true to size, depending if you have a wide foot, or go down a half a size if you're someone who has a narrow foot like myself. In all honesty, like I said, my experience with the GH Bass Weijins are just better than what my experience is with the Adrian Loafers. And the thing is, is I was able to get both of these shoes actually on sale. The GH Basses weren't on sale for as much as the Adrian's, and maybe the quality of the GH Bass is a little bit better when it comes to sizing and measurements than what Doc Martin is currently putting out. I don't know. Sizing is a bit tricky, but what I experienced for both brands is that you're gonna wanna go down, whether it be half a size or a full size, 
And for me and dogs, I would go definitely go down to full size. Maybe I would even take off half an inch for where my dogs are right now. And for the GH bass, I went down half a size and they are a chef's kiss when it comes to sizing. Let's talk about comfort. For the longest time, comfort has been one of the tip top criteria when it comes to footwear for my feet because I love walking around feeling good, feeling comfortable. And when it comes to these two loafers, there's a clear winner when it comes to comfort straight out the box. <laughs> that winner is the GH Bass Weijin 90s Kilty tasseled loafers, bar none. These are much, much more comfortable than the Adrian straight out the box. Within the first wear, wear number one, I felt the night and day difference between the GH Bass loafers and the Adrian loafers in the comfort department. I'll get to why that is in the quality section, but stay with me here for a second. Straight out the box, the Adrian loafers are a little bit stiff compared to the GH Bass. The, the leather on the Adrian loafers is just different in comparison between the two. And during my first five wears of the Adrian loafers, I got some pretty crazy blisters on the heel of my foot, especially my left foot for whatever reason. And a lot of times you'll realize that maybe your left foot or your right foot, one's bigger, one's smaller. So you have to kind of adjust for that. But the blisters were just kind of insane. Some of the worst blisters that I've had wearing a pair of shoes in a very, very long time compared with the GH Bass Weijins didn't really have any blisters whatsoever. When it comes to comfort, like I said, clear winner is the GH Bass Weijin 90s Kilty Loafers. These are absolutely bangers when it comes to how comfortable they are. Let's move on to the next section, which is build quality and shoe construction. All right, y'all, this is the last section of the video before I give you my final verdict. If you're getting any value from this video, what you doing? Hit the like button, bro. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, on the screen, you should see the Adrian loafers on the left and the GH Bass 90s Kilties on the right. Starting with the vamp or what some sneakerheads call forefoot of the shoe, you'll notice that the Adrian is a much, much wider shoe compared to the GH Bass Weijin. And like I was mentioning earlier, that is just more tailored for someone who has a wider foot or for putting multiple socks on or that kind of thing, where I feel like the GH Bass, you can wear them with no socks or no show socks and they'll fit better with your foot, or at least my foot, than the Adrian's because they're so wide. Let's also look at the tassels and the difference between the Adrian's tassels and the GH Bass Weijin's tassels. The Adrian's tassels sit a little bit further back compared to the point or the, or the very tip of the shoe, while the GH Basses come a little bit closer towards the the front half or the front end of the shoe, if that makes sense. And then if you take a look at the actual tassels on the loafer, you know, the, the Adrians have a bigger tassel and the GH Bass have a little bit of a stubby or a smaller tassel. And you know what they say, the bigger the tassel, <laughs> Never mind, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> this is once again personal preference when it comes to which tasseled loafer from a design standpoint and a build construction standpoint that you like more. My personal preference is the way that the GH basses look just because, I don't know, I just like the way they look. Let's look at the outsoles. The Adrian's outsole is a much, much thicker and chunkier outsole and just takes up more space and is more prominent on the loafer. Honestly, it's built like it can withstand a grenade landing on it, how thick and how heavy it is. And that's one of the things that makes the Adrian a lot heavier than the GH Bass Weijin, which its outsole looks like a foam outsole. Looks a little bit more, maybe classy because it's more flush. You have the black on black and then you have that contrast stitching running along the top of the outsole kind of going into the midsole. That's what makes both of these shoes a little bit different. They have different design aesthetics and it's really up to you whether or not you like one or the other. Now let's talk about one of the main features of both of these shoes and it's the leather quality. When I first opened up the box and took out the Adrian loafers, I was impressed by the leather, more so than I was impressed by the leather of the GH Bass Weijins, right? The Adrian's just had a more heavy feel to them. They had much more kind of substantialness to them. Um, they felt relatively smooth and soft out of the box, even though when you put them on feet, they weren't the softest or the, the most kind of comfortable feeling. And that's where it's a little bit weird because the Adrian Loafer's leather feels better when I just press into it. But when I have the GH Basses on feet, they just feel a lot more comfortable, like bar none. They just feel that much more comfortable. And it's not even comparable, you know, having to break in the Adrian Loafers versus not having to break in the GH Bass Weijins and just being able to wear them whenever. It's not even a comparison, like I said. These Weijins right here, they don't hurt my feet. 
That's why I love them. <laughs> From a style standpoint, and this is my final verdict, you guys. From a style standpoint, you win either way with the Bass Weegians or the Adrian Loafers as an entry level loafer for your footwear collection. Where I feel like the GH Bass Loafers, the 90s Kilty Tassel Loafers, take a huge leap compared to the Adrian Loafers is comfort and break in time and just breaking the shoe in. I said it before, but not having to really break in the GH Bass regions means I reach for them a lot more than the Adrian's now that I have both pairs in hand. I think the Adrian's value and the ability to buy this loafer for $65 is still present. I think the aesthetics of the Adrian really suit a certain person and look really good on certain individuals. And so that's where I would go if you know I was looking to have a certain look for my outfits or for my styling or for my uh, fits or whatever it may be. But for me, like I said, I'm reaching for the GH Basses a little bit more than the Adrian's nowadays. And even still today, even though I consider my Adrian's broken in, it's kind of a love-hate relationship because you're gonna have to deal with some pain after three hours, four hours of wear. Where with the GH Basses, I don't really feel that same pain wearing it three, four hours. Maybe if I wore it for, you know, 18 hours, I'd feel some pain with the GH Basses. But the times I've gone out and worn them, I'm cool. <laughs> Let me know if you have any other questions down in the comment section, or you can send me a DM at Drew Joyner underscore. I answer a hundred percent of my DMs. Unless you ask me to, you know, buy something or you ask me something crazy, I'm not going to answer the DM. But if you ask me a legit question about any of the things I talk about in my videos, I'm going to answer you in my DM. I mean, that's that's the type of person I am, man. This is the community I'm trying to build, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna just act like I'm above the people who watch my videos. I, I respond to every comment, I respond to every person in my DM, every comment on TikTok, Instagram, everything, man. Cause I got love for y'all. So if you got a question, feel free to ask. Just like, just like your high school teacher would say. <laughs> I feel like a teacher. <laughs> I appreciate you for watching all the way up until this point. As always, I'm spreading peace love and positivity in 2021 so that means i'm spreading peace love and positivity to you wherever you are in the world have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you guys next time abianto peace peace out homies hope you guys enjoyed the video for real i got another one coming this sunday so which one are you choosing comment down below you choosing the adrians or are you choosing the gh bass let me know I'm curious. All right. Lauren, let's go get some sushi.